back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Rachel, aka Fairy Ann, and I make videos about Lolita fashion, fashion in general, I guess, and sewing. So yeah, welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about how I discovered Lolita fashion. Uh, there was a collaboration a while back that other Lolita YouTubers did uh, talking about this topic, but um, I'm kind of late to the party, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So ever since I was really little, I've always loved like playing dress up and I always loved wearing um, nice outfits to school. I guess I've always been like this, but the more I've gotten, the older I've gotten, the more it's uh, taken hold, I guess. I don't know. So once upon a time, little baby Rachel in middle school was getting really into anime and Japanese culture and all of that. Um, yeah, I became a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I just was so fascinated by like Japanese pop culture and um, the fashion that came out of it. Yeah, I kind of knew about it like late middle school only because I had exposure with Japanese pop culture so I must have come across it sometime during then but I didn't, it didn't really register in my brain that it is like its own thing you know uh, I just thought it was kawaii and cute and yeah then high school came around and I was really starting to take interest in fashion and I really wanted to build my wardrobe starting at that point with things that I loved wearing and not just like stuff from the clearance rack at Kohl's, you know? Pinterest helped so much with me discovering my own fashion and figuring out what I loved but I didn't love what was out there, basically. So yeah, I pinned a lot of uh, vintage style fashions, cute fashions, um, and somewhere in that Japanese fashion was starting to come into my feed. So like Yaru fashion and Hime and all of that and some Mori K and Lolita fashion. Um, I didn't really realize um, the difference between a Lolita dress and a vintage dress at the time. I was just thought I was like, "Ooh, that's a pretty dress. Nice pin." Um, so, but the more that I was glued to the screen of Pinterest, <laughs> the more I kind of started making this realization that, "Oh, this is called Lolita. This isn't vintage." Okay, that's different. It's a different thing. So, yeah. It just kind of slowly circled in my brain what Lolita fashion was. Then one fateful day in, I think it was 2013? I might have been over 14. I think I was a freshman in high school. My family and I went to a local Thai restaurant and uh, while we were waiting for our order, there's this girl and her mom that walk in and this girl is in full-blown sweet Lolita and I just couldn't help but take uh, <laughs> some second looks like, oh my gosh, it's real. <laughs> I knew what it was, but that like solidified that it was a thing, you know, and that people actually wore it. So yeah, that was a really, really exciting moment for me to just see that in real life, especially in the little town in the middle of nowhere that I grew up in. That was um, really unexpected. <laughs> I started talking about it with my family and um, showed them pictures on Pinterest that I found of it, of Lolita fashion. And <laughs> my sister was very judgmental of it. I don't think you remember this, Robin, but you made me promise you that I would never wear Lolita fashion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you probably don't remember that, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I started um, really wanting to learn more about the fashion after seeing that person. Um, by the way, 
if you are that person and you're watching this video, thank you. You helped me get into the lead of fashion without even knowing it. You probably thought I was one of those uh, rude people that kept staring at you and you, I think you did glance over at me and gave me a dirty look because I was looking so much, but yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but hey, point of that is you never know um, why someone is staring. It could be because it's not always because they want to be rude. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was genuinely admiring and in awe of your outfit. So yeah, <laughs> sorry if I did come across for you. Yeah, so throughout the rest of high school, I uh, started researching Lolita fashion off and on and admiring it from a distance, AKA Pinterest. <laughs> and then the summer before my senior year, my family moved states. So moving senior year was kind of hard because I was the new girl. Yeah, I was about to graduate. So it was like a weird point in my life, um, but it gave me a lot of free time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I really um, dug deep into researching the lead of fashion that year. And I uh, decided, I don't know like what made me decide it, but um, yeah, that year I decided that I wanted to try wearing it. I wanted to become a Lolita. I found a lot of YouTubers and uh, blog posts. I didn't try to look for any local communities at the time because I didn't really have the Lolita that I owned it at all. I was just researching it. Yeah, I watched a lot of Deerstalkers videos and at the time Pixie Locks was still a Lolita. Pixie Locks was still a Lolita. So I followed her a lot and I was also looking at the different brands, researching that. And uh, early that year, I almost, almost bought my first actual Lolita dress. Uh, it was from, I don't remember what the name of the print was called, but it was from uh, Magic Tea Party. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it here. Uh, I kind of still want that dress just for the sake of having it for nostalgia, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I really, really wish I did buy it because that would have made my Lolita fashion journey so much easier. <laughs> but no, I wanted to do it the cheap way. I wanted to make my own dress. And uh, this my friends was my first Lolita dress. <laughs> um, I found this at an estate sale in the bottom of a moldy trunk and I got it for one dollar <laughs> and then I tried to make it as Lolita as possible. I think I did a pretty good job for not knowing what I was doing. Um, yeah, I used scratchy Walmart lace I uh, tried to do, okay, the original version, I had like the, like I had like little grommet holes on each side for lacing, but it looked awful. It was so bad. So then later I tried to make this, but it still looks weird and it doesn't work that well. It's not very stretchy. So yeah. I keep it still just to remind myself how far I've come. <laughs> um, yeah. It wasn't that bad of a Ida phase. I think I looked cute. It just wasn't like Lolita, you know? It was cringy, but cute. I was trying so hard, but yeah. <laughs> That was the only Lolita dress that I owned for a little while. Yeah, my last year of high school and um, into my freshman and sophomore year of college was kind of starting to build my wardrobe around the aesthetic. I kind of had the aesthetic before, but like I was starting to get like Lolita shoes 
and accessories that could be for Lolita and blouses that could work. But I never bought my actual first Lolita dress until uh, my right before my junior year of college. So summer of 2018 was when I bought my first uh, for real Lolita dress. Uh, it was this one. I bought this dress off of Depop for $50. Smacking good deal. Um, I think this print is underrated. It is so beautiful and cute and so detailed and well done. Oh, I love Innocent World. Uh, yeah, this was my first uh, brand piece, my first actual recognizable Lolita piece. <laughs> and I love this dress so much to this day. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. Yeah, come on baby. Oh, that print is called uh, Museum Bear, if you wanted to know. So for the rest of my junior and senior year of college, I really worked on building my wardrobe. Um, a little bit too much, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I have a good amount of dresses now. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Lolita fashion journey. That's how I discovered it. I don't think anyone cares, but it's fun to talk about it. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video. Um, if you liked it, that's great. I will be uploading more videos for you guys soon. Uh, hopefully some more sewing videos, some more Lita fashion content, and yeah, I'm excited for this new year because a lot of things are going to happen and I'm very excited. So stay tuned. Bye. I don't know if that made sense. This is so bad. I'm so bad at ending videos and starting them in the middle of them.